Hello again everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. A little bit of an odd one to start actually. You're going to have to tell me how all of the sound is. Because we did that control stream the other day and uh, it turns out it actually changed a lot of my settings inside Streamlabs. So uh, more than I actually remember changing. <laughs> to be fair, I feel like it's going to be one of those days today. Uh, anyway, welcome uh, to Rockford KRFD. Uh, new scenery created by... X-Wind. Um, it's, it's odd. I've got beeping in my headset with GSX. I don't know if you can hear the beeps for it to like open cargo main. But then I've got all the other sim sounds coming from inside the aeroplane. So it's really, really confusing. Uh, we need to go to ground equipment. Yes, we do. Door main cargo. Uh, so hopefully you can hear maybe the beeps of uh, yeah, beepity boopity good. Hopefully it's not too loud as well. Uh, but we are off today for two short hops out of Rockford, a upcoming cargo hook near to, uh, near to Chicago. Um, we're off to Minneapolis. Uh, Flight Beam is really good Minneapolis airport scenery. So, hope you're well. Hope you're looking forward to it. Hope you've had a good week. We begin the weekend. And uh, to be fair, I've purchased this scenery, by the way. It hasn't been sent to me as a press copy or anything like that. Uh, purchased this scenery for the purposes of today to share with you my thoughts as I always do sometimes I get the press copy sometimes I don't um, but so far quite an underwhelming bit of scenery so you should be able to hear just to make sure I got it right the aeroplane noise when we popped into the flight deck a minute ago the beeping from GSX uh, air traffic control when people start tr to transmit and the music in the background uh, welcome Badger, Ian as well, g'day, Night Shepherd, uh, Rab, good to see you, MPS Gaming, good afternoon as well, Zato, Carlito, Doc, good evening, living the dream, welcome, and everyone else, wherever you are in the world, it's great to have you on board with us today. Afternoon David, so, yeah, it's, uh, I mean look at that, that's pretty poor isn't it, that, that's, very, that's very poor, it's £15 this scenery. Um, and it looks very basic. They've done a very basic interior, which is nice when you're pulling up and you can see some people chilling and waiting by the stand area. But uh, this is the tiny little um, kind of passenger terminal at the airport, really. Flight Sim Sim, welcome. Good afternoon. Howdy to you. Looks like a little check in area there and a nice little departures area, too. We've got a few little things here, like the Beechcraft uh, maintenance facility. Before we go over to our aeroplane to have a little look today, there's not really very much to see, if I'm honest with you all. Um, as you can see, there's a Beechcraft hangar. It looks pretty basic. Um, and then again, some fairly basic looking uh, cargo warehouses and stuff dotted around. Control tower looks like it's got an interior. Like I say, it's quite an underwhelming looking scenery, this. So I'm not going to go uh, to town with um, detailing all of this. We'll have a little run over there. What have we got? Let's turn her up to 100. Mike, welcome. AAR hangers. A little bit of Menzies. They're everywhere, Menzies. Uh, yeah, X-Wing, uh, X-Wind rather, have created this, Emery Air. And if we just mooch over back towards our aircraft, we want number three for the drone camera. Uh, we're over in the main sort of cargo area here, the UPS hangars, which as you can see again, very basic generic looking um, cargo facility, but there is a UPS logo right on the corner there. <laughs> if you uh, so they go, no, it's not default. Not, it's not a really basic model. We've put a logo there. Uh, but yeah, Crosswind, Wexwind Studios, Rockford. They've made a couple of sceneries now for the sim. And uh, you can purchase it via any builds. I think... I'm not really sure of the structure of them, to be fair. You can contact Xwing or Crosswind through Facebook, from what I've been told. But it seems like any builds handle everything uh, in relation to the sale and um, kind of distribution of the add-ons. 
but that's it really. There's not really much else to kind of go and see. We'll look at the runway textures during the takeoff roll, of course. But for now, we're going to very slowly creep right. back over towards our aeroplane. So today's journey, 53 minute sector up to Minneapolis. We're going to drop off a load of freight, get a load more back on again. And then uh, we're going to head back to Rockford for a return. And in fact, yesterday when I took the thumbnail for this, the weather here was horrendous. Um, overcast, fog, rain, um, there's pretty much zero visibility. Um, so it's quite an interesting set of conditions actually for us. The other thing is there is no custom GSX profile available for this yet. And as you can see, the tarmac layout on the ground here is rather confusing. Um, so we've got all the cargo being loaded at the moment. Oh, boy, complete. There we go. Done. And, uh, yeah, look. It's a bit weird. So we're facing in at Charlie 6. But that is also, coincidentally, where our taxi line is. So if we follow this line here, A300 and 757... Kind of doesn't really make sense. I can't understand the layout of this airport. Because uh, that goes straight in over towards the hangar. But then we get a couple of little branch offs. Like so here for Charlie 6 where we are. So it looks like no pushback required. It's just going to be a straight up start up and run. And here we are. In the inner builds A300-600RF. Microsoft Flight Simulator. Not long been updated again. Um... And yeah, quite an enjoyable aeroplane, but it has got its issues that are getting a little bit frustrating these days, sadly. Uh, not least the crash to desktop that I had when I tried to load in again, because they still haven't solved that really frustrating bug. Zato had the same thing as well. Um, but yeah, let's dive in. I do like this aeroplane, it's great fun. And uh, these MD-11s, by the way, most of them are in A300-600s as well. Uh, but obviously we don't have that in FSLTL or AIG it seems so it's <laughs> it's given us a right old view today with some absolute cracking aeroplanes for AI model matching uh, those of you in the A300 flying along today how are you all getting on with this because I can't get the Navigraph charts to work at all in the tablet today I click MSP, that doesn't work. Search doesn't bring anything up. It's really odd. So we don't have any charts in this today. Uh, if we go into performance though. Ah, Zato, same issue as well then. Okay, so it's not just me then. Runway 07, takeoff run available 3,000 meters and a heading of 068 degrees. Magnetic on a dry runway surface, winds 340 at 5 minus 5 for the outside air temperature and altimeter. 1026, but obviously we're in uh, we're in old money today. We're in the US uh, inches of mercury. Altimeter 3030 is the equivalent, which we will be using today. Takeoff weight 122 tons, flaps 1515, and we'll leave the anti ice off. And it gives us the performance as you can see here suggested on the table. So. Flex 63, V1 150, rotate 150, V2 153, and uh, triple horizontal stabilizer 0.1 down. So we're going to go ahead and just fire some of this in. Uh, so Rockford 07, direct to Rockford after takeoff. On the takeoff page, we can pop this in. So 150. I can't remember if. No, it doesn't. I always end up blending various performances and bits of aeroplanes into each one when I've not flown something for a little while. 153, so we're going to set 153, which changes it down there. V2 FCU, and we preset 250. Climb initially just straight to 18,000, and we are on Unicom. For the traffic, uh, Osprey, Fahrenheit, now, can you hear that transmission? Ball, okay. Start at the uh, end. I hope you can. Yeah, Clark, welcome. Uh, 068, that's all good. We'll leave all that. And flex of 63, good stuff. Much up, thanks. 
minus five on the DH, and uh, we've caged that as well. So let's hold the AP Master switch on. If you start. So let's dive into the charts. Rockford Tower. So, we've got the new Navgraf charts with annotations, so we're there on Charlie 6 on the cargo apron, we're not going to push and start, we're just going to start our engines, and, and actually, oops, uh, all we need to do is taxi out of here, we can change the size of this as well, by pressing this little line here, you can change the thickness of the line, which is really good. So we're going to come out of here, and then 07 is down there, so we're going to turn out of Foxtrot 3. Looks like we've got a ATC online, perhaps. And then down here towards the threshold. So you can draw pretty much what you want. Like so. Tower, hello, UPS 5803, looking for clearance. And the tower's online, and oh, my goodness, we've got approach. UPS 5803, have you heard, uh, Rockford Tower, uh, go ahead, file 05 for real, please. I will file it for you, this will be... Side the So that means we need 18, 8, uh, sorry, 18, 1, 21. 1, 2, 1, 0. For Rockford approach. Good morning to our controllers today. Coming online, thank you very much. Absolutely, Mike. Yeah, I was just thinking the same thing. Rockford Tower, hello UPS 5 Delta Papa, new information with is on stand uh, Alpha 3, request I for clearance to destination. UPS uh, 5 Delta Papa, um, Rockford Tower, uh, request on request number. Can you repeat uh, UPS 5 Delta Papa? UPS 5 Delta Papa, clearance on request standby. Uh, Rockford Tower, good morning. Uh, UPS 556 at Charlie 6, ultimate to 3030. Request clearance to uh, Minneapolis over an Airbus A300. And you're very welcome. UPS 556, have you heard? Uh, Rockford Tower, uh, clear for request number. So we've got a score initially of 3264, he's going to work through the flight plans. Rockford Tower, Osprey 7 And everybody's going to join the queue. 30, 30. Looking for clearance to Minneapolis Simple. Anyway, APU's fired up. Let's get the bleed on. Yoink. Backs will transferred across. Let's get the external power off. And bring the fans online. Looking good. Dr. Tower, you'll be spotted to work with clearance for Minneapolis. I might just change the audio into my headset. It's a bit of a GPS test here. Or the G8, uh, uh, now I'm hoping. Oh, that sounds mega in my ear. It sounds really good. I'm hoping you can hear that. I've just transferred it across, but we're going to tweak and fiddle around with the settings a little bit because actually, if this makes it much better, happy days. If that's too loud, simultaneously let me know compared to my volume as I talk over them. It's really difficult to get a balance with sound a lot of the time, especially when for that controller stream we tweaked a few bits and now it's changed so much. Yeah, Mike, it was good. I think we're going to try and do once every uh, once every month. At least. Let me just turn. There we go. How's that? I've just turned the uh, speaker volume down right down. Uh, right 
Number one, two, one, wrong at Tango, uh, wrong for tower, that's wrong for tower. No worries, Christopher. Where did you depart from? Off to Tenerife. So how's the sound now? Now that I've changed those settings, with uh, I've basically just changed the output from V Pilot into my headset, which I couldn't do on my old headset because of uh, it, it kept activating the mic. Whereas this one now doesn't, which is really neat. Uh, Rock Fidatus is online. Golf. Rivals expect visual approach runway one landing and departing runway one. Right, that changes it a little bit. actually makes the departure for us a little bit simpler because if I just go to the charts while we wait for Sid so Rockford's around here it's going to take off 0-1 uh, and then get vectored. Oh, I love this new annotations. This is what we used to do on tutorials. Side of the power correct. one for departure. Ground will be on Delta Oh, ground 121 9. Delta Papa contact ground 121.9. Good stuff. So you can hear the ATC like subtly enough, and then you can hear me loud and clear and everything else. stuff. Alright, well we can keep tweaking it now and split the channels a bit better. Bloody part break. Well, let's, let's just change. That's your finick. Bravo, Midway, Bravo, You're full ATC out of Rockford. Yeah, Rockford, then a file maintained five thousand departures, one point zero five two two four. So it's five thousand initial climb. We get that external power debris out of the way. Oxford ground down. Good morning, this is at uh, November one two one really a tango. I can't get in. Oh, look at that. Number one. Number one, two, one. Romeo Tango Rock for a ground standby. Welcome. Uh, FedEx, uh, correction, UPS spot to be clicked. Bravo, heavy. Uh, did you copy that? So we got the same. Oh, sorry. Five fifty. Oh, he's gone. Okay. The one to one Romeo Tango. He's put in the Minneapolis International Airport via Bitterbeckers and Rockford, and then a file maintained five thousand departures. One to one point zero. Block one three one three. Got a great little fly along today. Need to get clearance. Good morning. We are from Wilshire One and November. What you want to roll the title? What's wrong with Tango? Uh, verified block 1313. Yep, sorry, 1313. 
Once one runway, take a repack, correct, advise the detection, ready to call. Roger, I'll request policy. Roger, Roger, Roger. You look for startup or taxi? Startup. Uh, once one runway, take a startup, is that your own discretion? Call me short of, uh, Juliet, one ready for taxi. Gin, again, plot always gin. Prophet Grand, good morning, uh, UPS 556 at Charlie 6 and Golf on board, A300, request clearance to Minneapolis. That was flight at 12559, uh, Rockford, ground standby. Who's this guy calling? Uh, UPS 556. UPS 556, thank you. UPS 15 3 Alright, so we will we'll keep jumping All right, on each other. UPS 56 and UPS 55, zero three on the left. Is somebody trying to get out of our plane? UPS 5 to double I should have booked a later flight on New Sky. We're about to get late. Well, that's all good, that's all good. That's all set. The point is me even starting the engines until we get our clearance. Off right, then we'll have to go off again soon to Minneapolis Simple. Drop for neck. Loads flying along, it's great. Alright. <laughs> BVA, uh, correction, Bravo Victor Alpha 27 Alpha and Bravo Victor X Ray 7 1 Alpha Golf, I have you on the list. You've been stopped United for the Minneapolis International Airport via the via Red Vectors Rocker than a flight. Yeah, we burn in fuel 787 fan. Use UPS 559. UPS 559. Alright, we'll get out of blast. UPS 5803 up. 15. 5803. 5803, go ahead. Clear for the uh, Raider Vectors Rock, present a file, maintain 5000, departure 1.0.0, watch 3567. Roger, Zurich to Minneapolis, Raider Vectors at Rockford, DOR. Ed, good morning. Departure is 1 to 1.0, so you should be the clock. So, what have we got? We've got Golf. It's a day 03 back, correct. Ready to go off the track. Hold to me, Dad. Roger, Zurich to Golf is current, and you should be the clock for 5050. 35-57. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 30-30. 
They're off the ground, uh, UPS 556. Have you got me in the queue? You, uh, I have UPS 559. I'll put you on the list. You never can. You get 458 Earth. I don't have a 559. I'm looking at Dot Aircraft. You get 458. Uh, you put it at Minneapolis International Airport via Vector Vector. No idea. Oh well. I'll maintain 5,000 departures once on point zero block 7215. Clear to Minneapolis. I file runway 01. Departure right of Vector. He's quick, isn't he? I'm climbing to 5 on the GA ramp. What are you flying today? Expect one, which means we need to change our runway to zero one, and that needs to become zero zero eight. You just need to uh, Rockford ground, you're number two. So zero eight five thousand two fifty is preset and thirty thirty four. A yeah. firm 556. This is the of the Minneapolis International Airport via the Rock, via Red Records Rock Group, and on files maintained 5,000 departure 1.0 to Block 3364. Clear Minneapolis, uh, Vectors Rockford, initial climb 5,000 departure 1210 and uh, 3264 for the squawk QPS 556. We'll go expect one and call for taxi, UPS 556. 3264. Oh, that's what I've already got set. Done. Done. Start A. Start 1. Okay, clear taxi to runway 01 via Juliet. Uh, Foxtrot Alpha Beacon. and Bravo uh, November 1 to 1 million. So now you guys have got the mission, the task of uh, engine sounds versus ATC okay. in my yep. voice. I on the uh, charts uh, cross uh, 25 at Foxtrot. Nice weather at uh, MSP by the looks of it. Calm winds, minus six, very cold. Off the ground, uh, UPS 458, ready for taxi, Stop two. Uh, uh, seven eight seven van no. Uh, there we are. the noise. I think the box was not running with two fights, yeah, called the UPS flight. Okay, so, wait for number two to come online, or the break max. Continuous relight. 3034, I'll set, that's all set. Water brake. Max. Ground support is on. Park brake is set. Rudder zero resets. And flaps. Uh, 
15, 15. THS. 0.1 down. And controls. Let's do a quick little check of those. Yeah, sorry, I just checked the maps, uh, but I'm uh, killing the left here. That looks good. Uh, and we'll pull that down. Add recall. Tat nice and rain, JPU's running, oh, green lights on, part of brake, seatbelt signs, no smoking, seatbelt sign, and TCAS. Bravo, right, let's roll. Bravo. Let's join the queue. Agra, UPS 556, stand Charlie 6, request taxi at turn. Taxi, Foxtrot Golf, uh, hold short of Bravo, cross 25 at Golf, uh, UPS 556, heading. Dab of the brakes. So, charts. We are busy playing for that. Get rid of that. So we can just undo all that. We can just hit bin to clear the information on the charts, as it also suggests. Uh, we've been cleared here. So if I change this to blue, out of here, down golf, uh, Bravo cross 25. And then we've got told to hold short, so we won't be holding, going any further than that. It's Turner. Need a little bit of power today just to keep her. Uh, moving it seems. So that's what we're doing. Benoit, no. Who's UPS 450? I'll put on the next uh, sub, uh, UBS fight. Uh, Grandpa, quick up on our golf, Charlie, down golf, the whole short, Robert. Well, golf, Robert. Uh, company aircraft from left to right. What are you? UPS 15, We're going to have to hold here because he's got right away. Can't go past this stop line. So that's as far as we go. And we'll have to give way to him. Yo, welcome. James, howdy. Been with us 30 months as a gold freaking flyer, my goodness. Thanks for all the ongoing support. There's the retro. Osprey livery. Oh, we can see Zarto there, look. Taxiing with intent. Power. There we'll go with uh, UPS 556.
what is going on with them. Give me a three ground. Uh, 15, 15, go ahead. Just make sure you're not making the same mistake. Uh, all short attack with Bravo at golf, please. Go on, Trevor Bravo, at golf, three one seven. Weird. I hate you with this one. Quick uh, recalibration on the fly oh, there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, there goes one of the guys. He's up already. Little jet. Okay, that's a bit better. I'm sure we have to taxi on iron. Side of Papa, taxi. Boxtrot, golf, ultra attack, quick, bravo. Proper my two five left at golf. Oh, the mighty 747 8 there, look at that. Short, short, good, short, uh, 725 at golf, uh, GPS 5, did the you can follow the Osprey, contact Carbon 18.1. Don't follow the Osprey, contact Carbon 181, make sure you're Good morning. Actually, hold on, don't switch yet, I gotta keep it for somebody else. Copy, do you want us to hold short of uh, uh, Bravo? 5803 Runway 1, taxi via Bravo. Well, runway 1, taxi via Bravo, 5803. Reverse up on Apple Golf, contact, or sorry, operate on Apple Golf, contact Tower 118.1. Strobes. Tower 118.1, taxi ATC, operate on Apple Golf. Yeah, you can score 58, uh, follow the Osprey path and, uh, north to the south on Bravo. Okay, we're going to follow the Osprey path and north to the south on Bravo. On the Bravo, give me five. Just five. Give me three. Give way, company. He's gonna pull out in front of him. Roger, we'll give way up to the company. Uh, you're busy doing business. Ground operation. We're ready to set. Operation. Two seven alpha runway uh, one taxi via. We are busy today. Runway one taxi via block shot Bravo. Cross runway two five Bravo. Heading select Pro. Uh, uh, because it hasn't loaded in any uh, A300s, basically, uh, EQ from Bangkok, that's why. I'm going to go to the two, Bravo, one, tag via Bravo. King, tag via Bravo, one, five, Bravo, I'm going to go to the Great to see though. Click 63, that's 15, 15 sets in the dial. Good afternoon, see you, welcome. It's nice to see like a smuttering of snow now that's kind of just semi settled on the ground, really. Um, yeah, that's quite good. Thanks for so we got told hold short Bravo. Yeah. Hey Roger, uh, runway one, taxi golf Bravo, if you have five and six. How's the bike holding up, James asking? It's doing alright, gave it another clean the other day. So I would have hold here. Sorry, I'm going to see Hold on. Good five Delta Papa Heavy. Run by one, follow company. Frodo company, you be in five at the Papa. Should be able to mooch along on idle now. He says. And here's our first screenshot of today. Is that a load of salt? 18 1 for tower, UPS 5 to 6 heavy, thanks, see ya. 18 1. Let's keep it rolling. Yeah, the great says uh, MSP is going to be done with over 10 inches of snow all day, my goodness. Yeah, that'd be crazy for you tomorrow then. 
Bravo Tech, good uh, morning. UPS 556 heavies on Bravo for 01. UPS 556 heavy around for Gerard. Block for Tower, hello, UPS 5 and Bravo Tech, heavy on Bravo. UPS 458 heavy, turn left heading uh, to 350, Roy 1, quick takeoff. So there's the departure vectors. So we can anticipate that as well, I'll set that because otherwise I'll forget. Reasonable certainly to anticipate something like that. It's great having such a big air Roger, I'll expect us in the uh, 50 Zoom, zoom. Yes. I don't like the very zoomed in and kind of down looking position that they have as default. That I think is really horrible for, a, for an aircraft position. I would much prefer it to be a little bit like that, maybe a tiny bit higher. Like so. Getting some odd stuff to see today, I've just noticed. <laughs> Matthew, yeah, basically, yeah. I'm guessing you're on the roster, potentially able to fly to MSP tomorrow. UPS 48 into the carnage. UPS 48, have you contact Rocker Airport 121.0? There's a stop climb at 3 there for him. 1 to 1, flying to hill. UPS 58, 03, maintain 3000 on departure. So just a quick look at the charts, uh, you can see there Rockford 1108 um, off to the north west. So initial departure, a couple of hundred feet, we'll then just start manual turn left towards whatever vector we're given, if it's zero Three five, what was it? If it's three five zero, then uh, so be it. Yeah, weird. Little stutters today. In the sim. Now, because of that, we're not using L nav. We're not using nav mode using heading select for takeoff. I had a comment yesterday with the 787, a similar question saying they can't get LNAV to work on their takeoff. It's probably because they've got vectors in their flight plan or something similar to that. Uh, so then you can either go direct to after takeoff or you can do heading mode. Heavy, heavy, uh, heavy MD-11, we heading where we went to takeoff. Runway heading That's the runway heading this time. So they're sequencing us. Let's go back to zero, zero, 008 just in case. They're kind of having one person split left, one person split straight on the runway. Joffy Neck, he's obviously got a different scenery. There's the windsock. Oh, it's great that we can write in that graph now, yeah. Huge improvement. Special aircraft, uh, expect a two minute delay for wake turns after each aircraft. Exactly. Right, delay off, thank you. Ah, oh, ramp, gutted. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be a good one. Uh, Tom Contin to Bogota. Which is going to be good fun. Oh, break off.
Hence why so many of them have vectors uh, for departure then, Matthew, rather than a fixed SID like we do at Gatwick and Heathrow. They can just split an aircraft off a couple of degrees and separate the path and gain that separation later on. It's quite efficient, I suppose, getting them all off the ground and flying. Probably quite intense though to actually manage and sequence in real life, I would imagine. Eighty four knot headwind appears going, my goodness. The size of that thing. Yeah, potentially then, on the weekend, full ATC, uh, obviously if we had Unicom in use for today, we would use uh, CTAF, the new CTAF trial that that's in USA are running at the moment. Uh, Operate 2472 heavy, previous morning aircraft was a heavy 8300, we'll probably do that. Operate 1, previous takeoff, fly runway heading. Previous takeoff, fly runway heading, I'll stay too much That's good, that's good, that's good. Relight. Let's get them out of the belly. One less click. It's basically, uh, how does CTAF work, Yuri is asking. In effect, it's uh, basically just Unicorn. There goes David. But with specified frequencies, so you would use the airport's own tower frequency instead. Ah, you're in the vision jet, living the dream. Nice. No, it's a short leg though. I think you might be on the way in before we the person at the back of the pack gets airborne. It's 53 minute airtime. Contact, uh, rocket approach over 2.0, Vic. 1.2.1.0, Foster, Triangle 72, after attack, Vic. That's that chaos in there. Vex 53, just realised we didn't change our takeoff performance. 53, 134, 138. UPS 556, heavy rain, 1 out of point. Runway 1, line of point, uh, UPS 56, heavy. 34, 34, 38. Let's uh, go with that, that's 138. Seems overly light, as a difference there, very weird. You're kind of getting these weird little stutter lags today uh, in this. And I'm not sure if it's the scenery or what, but it's, it's all a little bit weird. Now, there's no mega rush in actually lining up here. I've just very, very, very quickly done a uh, quick refresh of the performance there because I realised I had it all set up for zero 07 and not for zero 01. So he's got airborne with a left turn. Look. Uh, for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for. APS five heavy previous departing across the A three hundred to continue to on supply runway heading very one trip to Fly runway heading and uh, caution the weight turbulence. Uh, Y01 trip takeoff, this 556 heading. That's good, that's good. Okay. On the brakes, 40%. Two fifty preset refreshed. Brakes off, Toga. Speed to lie, power set. Hundred 
knots already. You are rotate V2. Positive right, gear up. Make sure we trim nicely here. Uh, uh, contact uh, departure on uh, 2100, GPS 56 Heavy, thanks. Uh, see you. Through flaps uh, up, so let's get that cleaned up. 008 heading mode 5250, that's set. Runway tunnel flights set. Ignition mode off. Jump's good. In. Rockford departure, good morning. UPS 556 heavies airborne, runway heading uh, 4000. UPS 556, Rockford approach, other contact. Sure, continue. Climate team 1 3000, uh, UPS 56 Heavy. I think I stepped on you the last bit. UPS 56 Heavy, proceed at Cotton and Climate team 1 2000. Direct Cotton uh, 1 2000, uh, UPS 56 Heavy. Cotton, Cotton, inserts. Nav. Gear lever off. 12,000, prof. Clear the DH. Nice spoilers disarmed. Next frequency 122. Set. Away we go. Look at that. Sprinklings of snow. So 30,000, 12,000, that's probably his limit on uh, Rockford approach, in which case will be handed off to Unicom. But with completely revamped sounds, mic volume, all the rest of it, hopefully this is all working out quite nicely for you all. And uh, all the sounds are pretty bang on. He says. No frigs to change approved and radar services terminated. UPS 556 heavy, thanks, uh, have a good day. 28, prof. Yeah, flaps are up, that's all set. 275, direct codden with the right turn outbound. There she is. Weird, it sounds very, very quiet outside now, doesn't it? Or is it me? We haven't done much freight dog stuff, have we, actually, to be fair? There's the right turn. That's just like an advert for UPS. UPS side of the top, uh... Rockford departure with a contact altitude. Delta 3000 feet, UPS 5 Delta. Delta 5 Delta Papa, Cedric Cotton, climbing signal 2000. We're flying Velvet Dude, even Cookie Yellow. Yeah, Cotton, uh, Velvet Dude, 1 2000, UPS 5 Delta. We haul in today. Right, let's dive back in. And again, the inside's gone almost completely silent. Do that. And hopefully now... You can hear the music.
Rightio, what do we got then? Let's turn this up. And while we climb, was it 280 yet yeah, for our cruise? That's set. We can have a look at the charts and think about the arrival into MSP. So, 12 right, winds are calm by the Killer 3 arrival. It says CMAC transition there, but uh, we're going to transition onto the actual ILS runway 1 2 via final. So, we can have a little look at Navigraph and we can work through this messy looking flow. Uh, where are we? There we go. So CMAX just here, halfway in on the star, and that's where we're going to join it from basically. So heading in over CMAX at 280 knots, 14,000 feet, so let's draw all over it so you guys can see it. There it is, new Navigraph annotations. Oh Devon, yeah, it's really annoying isn't it? Um, because if it's super busy at MSP in Minneapolis, there's a hold at CMAC, but we're not expecting that today. Uh, we'll continue in at Killer uh, at or above 12,000 feet. Just change to standard pressure here, two seconds, there we go. Uh, and then into Huggy, Crisps, Dewey, GQ? No, hold on. That's a different runway. Going in from Crisp, then Afton, then John Z, out of 9,000, Greek. At 230 knots at 8,000. And then Dole. Uh, Rockford departure, Osprey 2 South. Uh, we're passing 3,400 feet. Change to Unicom, silly me. Uh, yeah, then Dole uh, vectors from that point. So, we're going to ignore Krug. We're going to be over this body of water somewhere, actually. If we have a little look, there it is. So, there's Dole. And there's that body of water that's just on the charts here. So we're flying that way initially. The runway's here. It'll work if I just put a little blip. Let me put a little blip. There it is. So the ILS is going to bring us in that way. So Dole is probably around here somewhere. And at that point, we're going to head inbound and vector ourselves. Um, towards the ILS in at zesty there for the initial fix so runway course 121 and the frequency 1103 there's a Minneapolis VOR there 1153 if we need it and if you're thinking about CTAF then uh, there are three different tower frequencies available and because of that I don't know which so I'm going to go on to the VATSIM um, CTAF trial website and find the CTAF frequency. Which frequency to use? Uh, it's going to be. That's him AIP, and we want KMSP. So yeah, uh, 1267 it says, according to the VATSIM AIP. So add all of that, 1267, that's the CTAF frequency. If there's no ATC online and we're on Unicom, we're going to go from 122.8, which is where we are at the moment, higher up. We get to about... Um, 15 or so nautical miles to the airfield we can switch to 126.7 and announce our position even though we're going to be landing on ILS 1.2 in fact 1.2 right perfect it's right there look I'll just squiggle over it and then delete it that works and yeah as um, MPS Gaming has done in vPilot as well you can click in the text bit where you type some stuff like your commands you can type dot ctaf and then space followed by the ICAO code for the airport in this case KMSP and it will give you the relevant CTAF frequency that you need for that. We also need to take some other bits of information from here though so uh, let me make a big old thick line. Airport elevation 842 
CTAF frequency 126.7. Missed approach. We could do a little star there if we want it. Just as a real like highlight for Mr. Proach if we bugger that up. And uh, we've highlighted those frequencies and things. So 4,000 at Zesty, down to Kins at 3. 8 miles to touchdown at that point. 3 degree glide slope. And uh, minimums today if we run it in on a Cat 2. But then I'll hand fly the last bit if we can. We'll smack 102 into the rad out. Happy days. And then we've got to think about well, where do we go after landing? Well, it's a big old airport. And what to right is here. And after touchdown, we need to park there. I've already pre highlighted this the infilled cargo apron. So to get there, we've got to head um, off the runway somewhere. They're all 90 degree junctions by the looks of it so realistically decelerating on this is 3,000 meters we're probably going to vacate somewhere around whiskey 5 so we can come off here and then back on ourselves and then we can doodle all over this so we can go uh, whiskey crossing that runway down Mike and then to tango like so so we've already now got a bit of a predefined taxi routing in for Flybeam Studios MSP, of which we've also got a custom GSX profile for it, which should be pretty good. So we're going to put all of this data in now because it's a short hop. Killer 3 and everything's already in there. Let's go to the FMS. So yeah, Killer 3, I've already got that in. The Johnsy Greek doll and then manual for vectors, basically, with a discontinuity to Zesty, which is what we're expecting. And then uh, the final approach to one to right. ILS frequency 110.3. And the course 121 degrees. Done. Uh, we'll go for low auto brake, although we're still a little way off yet, so I won't get too excited. And decision height, we can change that to 102. Can't get any closer, so either 100 or 105. So set the higher value, in this case 105 for us. do the same with them. We'll get rid of that for now. It'll just sit there in the background waiting. We'll keep the heading bug in line. That's in auto and in cruise the limited mode. Good. So as Doc said there we could overlay it on the on the display here but if we just um, follow our little nav track and chase the line you can see here from Dole you've got Tonka as a waypoint there but from Dole we just want to vector out over this body of water and then route up towards Zesty with a couple of right turns. Then set the ILS. And then we've got the good old moving taxi charts there. So we can see in the infield cargo apron here roughly where we might park. But FedEx is on the top end. Look there, it says FedEx. So one would therefore assume this little building here is UPS. Unless anyone knows any different. Not going to the US Air Force area. Or Terminal 2 or GA. I know I didn't overlay it, Doc. Can't actually draw on an overlay though, I don't think. If we overlay it, that's what Doc's on about. It's a totally different function. You can see Krugs up there. So, all briefed. Mr. Proach is going to be turned right down to Farmington to hold. So climb 1,300 feet. Climbing right down to 3,000 direct Farmington. And hold there. Transition altitude 18,000.
descent forecast. But part of me for some reason thought that would go in. Um, it's another aeroplane I'm probably thinking of. Flight level. I'll just do 200, 297 at 85. Uh, flight level 15, so actually it's 15,000 feet here in less states. 296 at 69. And then we've got uh, flight level 100 with 10,000 feet winds. 297 to 37. And then somebody put the METAR in the live chat earlier for KMSP. Just gonna get that. Oh, that's the wrong. That's the VATSIM command. And that's all caps. Whoops. <laughs> Zarta says, just to note for people in the A300, the auto throttle retard at landing is still bugged, so use manual throttle for landing. I do anyway. I like to use a little bit of manual thrust. Uh, oh, winds are calm. Yeah, zero, zero. So let's see if we can put that in. I'll do zero at one. That'll do. Just so I've put something in there. Wind correction plus five and the MDA one oh two. Is it one oh two? Yeah, one oh two. Doc says he's got a wind change now, zero six zero at five. On well, the latest meta, thanks. There we go. Done. Zoom zoom. Ancient Dino, welcome mate. Joining us a bronze frequent flyer, great to have you on board. Bone 787 fan, I, I tend to get a lot of DMs, so unless you're a developer, please don't DM me. Because I just won't have the time to respond. And what it then also does is it pushes my conversations with developers down this long list and I lose track of who I've been speaking to and what we've been chatting about. So I try and only have DMs in Discord for official developers and, and that's it. Uh, everyone else, we can chat inside our... Um, normal discord server but I get about 15 to 20 DMs a day and I'd rather reduce that somewhat <laughs> hey Sammy welcome Oliver good morning unless you're uh, this part of the world then it's good afternoon Let's have a little look at Volanta today then, folks. So I haven't put any of our screenshots on this thing. Some of the guys are on final already. My goodness. We're almost on final. Yeah, Badger. He's uh, he's being he's downwind effectively now. Wow. And then United. Uh, sorry. Um, yeah, United 26 39 from all that uh, Ord Chicago. MPS Osprey 598. He's already away. Let's see if we've got any pictures. Oh, actually, was that one of my screenshots? It was, but Valanta bugged out there. Uh, we've got David there. Oh, look at that. Double Osprey. Uh, UPS 458. Uh, UPS 5803. Old school uh, livery today for him. Look at that. I almost chose that for today. But I thought I'd go for a little bit more modern. Uh, Ian Osprey 2472. He's away. Uh, that one's not loading. This one does though. Oops. Nice. Bit of sunrise. 
Uh, Graham as well, November 121 Romeo Tango in the Vision Jet. Oh my god. <laughs> he just flew through you. It wasn't me, was it? Well, I got no traffic announcements. To be fair, you're in an all tactical black paint skin as well, so. I had a press copy of this Vision Jet and it was great fun. Quite slow though. And then uh, they updated it and my press copy eventually broke. Because I don't do many private jets. So I didn't feel like I wanted to purchase it because I knew I wouldn't use it very much. Osprey 27 Alpha. He's up loads flying along today. This is fantastic. Uh, we've got Bingster as well, Osprey, uh, sorry, UPS 562. And I think that's all of us up. What a fly along. It's worth noting actually as well, while we're on this screen, look at all that weather. Oof. I would assume that's all snow. Massive band of snow sweeping across the states. Tissues, yeah, basically like a uh, like the A310, but a lot bigger, a lot bigger, but good fun. I much prefer this to the A310. I get, you know, the A310 though is uh, it was included in the World Update, wasn't it? So it's it was free for people to enjoy, but uh, this is just a different kettle of fish entirely. I do like this. It's got its bugs though, which are highly highly frustrating at times. Not least the um, crash to desktop when you try and spawn back in again. But it is what it is. Currently though, the only high fidelity twin aisle slash cargo long hauler that we have. Ancient Dino, it, it does, it, what I've done is I've, I've actually delayed the kick function of it because it, it was pretty solid of the second the channel membership got um, cancelled for whatever reason, it would then bin you out of the lounge, but actually what uh, what it does is it gives you, I think, one or two days leeway just to, uh, leeway just to get it it's sorted out and reconsider and stuff. Sometimes, uh, I know channel memberships, for example, three or six months, every three or six months, might be six months. Uh, YouTube automatically terminate it for you to make sure that you still want to have the subscription one of the little safety features that it has which I think is quite good um, which is why we've got that delay in place so if, if that happened um, and YouTube asked you if you wanted to continue to be a member by rejoining it doesn't then just boot you out of the lounge Bison Ware is the one that is most surprising to Zato. He says there, despite the Learjet being in early access, it's by far the most polished aircraft he's tried, and they keep updating it, and his next update is in the cabin. They're doing a rework. Nice. Is that is that an MSFS Learjet? Eight forty two for airport elevation, so better change that. Two clicks to eight fifty. Bone seven eight seven fan. Well, I haven't seen it, providing it adheres to the rules, then I don't see why it would be an issue now. Uh, middle of stream, I don't check this scores. That's all good. Crikey. Oh, I forgot the oxygen supply up there. Thankfully, we're pressurised anyway. Yeah. Well, look at that. A rather tasty 4,000 feet.
Nate, no, to be honest. Um, do you know what the differences are? I just maybe thought that they were two options of the same thing. But now you may wonder if there is actually a couple of tweaks and differences with it. All in the Learjet Zato, my goodness, that's uh, that's mad. Uh, Nate says the UPS 149 seems a bit darker. Doesn't know whether the brown on 173 or the black is newer on 149. You know what, I'm not sure myself either. I don't know if anyone here might know the difference uh, between the two. Ooh, look at that down there. That is La Crosse Regional Airport, La Crosse Municipal Airport on French Island on Alaska. That looks massive for a very small Wisconsin airport. Wow. Anyway, almost at top of descent. MPS, I'll just reload your screenshots, mate. Because uh, it may well be that Valance is just having a bit of a moment. No. It says no. Odd. Oh well. We'll see them in Discord later, won't we? Mr. Anya isn't welcome. How are you doing? Hope you've had a good week. Uh, Chris says, hello to you, sir. says, um, have people seen the trailer that's just come out for the Black Square Duke that's coming from Just Flight soon? Looks pretty nice. Coming via Just Flight News, actually. Nice. Saw so the MMG A33200 departure out of Istanbul. I assume that's the, uh, the livery that... Uh, or the video that you mentioned that you put into Discord. Was that at Heathrow? Uh, yeah, the scenery bug that uh, you can see the tiles load and unload. I think it's a DirectX 12 issue, isn't it? That hasn't been very stable ever since they've rolled it out. Um, that really annoying thing sometimes where all of the ground textures disappeared. Um, for a bit in drone camera. Very odd. But it's resolved it. Oh, London Luton, nice, okay. I mean, the new update, I know they've done it for the Sim Beta. Um, which I don't have, but what they've done is they've forced a form of update to all of us in the background somehow, and uh, they've broken windowed mode. Which is really annoying as well. So now every time, I always use it in full screen, but now MSFS loads regardless in windowed mode, and then I've got to change back to full screen every time, which uh, is getting on my nerves a little bit already. It's only been a day. Uh, what have we got? So, MSP. Delta 784 is uh, not on the correct frequencies. Just called final, apparently, on text. Oh, that was 20 minutes ago. Uh, right, so, MSP CTAF is 126.7. I 
don't need that, yeah. That's good. Have you seen the Win Wing FCU? I haven't. Uh, I've seen. Actually, is that's the full size one, isn't it, Neil? Looks massive. Yeah, I saw. I saw a tickling of it the other day on. Um, I can't remember what, what I was looking at. To be fair, there was a picture of it that appeared somewhere. Oh, and enter on your keyboard as the sim is loading. Problem solved for the current session. Oh, nice. Thank you, guys. Uh, Nate and Lefty's Lab. Great tip. Hopefully that helps everyone else having the same problem as well that, that are watching. But I'm, if I'm not mistaking what that product is, then Neil, is that it's basically what it Mini FCU is, but it's a full size version um, made of metal, isn't it, rather than plastic? Yes, and cheaper than um, uh, Mini FCU. Wow, okay. I think were they at FS Weekend uh, the other day? I think somebody mentioned it yesterday and said that it's actually a little bit... Um, their, their stuff isn't known to last particularly long. Let's just go on to display capture, just switch more windows. This is what we're on about, folks. Oh, they look quite cool. Orion metal rudder pedals. There. The MIP FCU. From Wind Wings. Now a direct com competitor to... Uh, oh my goodness. I don't think I've ever looked at any of their products before. Crikey, look at that. That'd be for all these DCS people, won't it? My goodness. Some people say that their stuff isn't particularly great quality, but this looks uh, this looks pretty good. Some of this. Base. Accessories. Okay, so it's not actually something you can pre-order yet. That looks fantastic though. But why can't I click? Somebody mentioned in the Discord yesterday, Zato, that their their stuff breaks. But I suppose everything might eventually. And it depends how you use it. Right, so there's literally nothing here, it's just that's the picture there. Full size FCU panel. One to one fully structured mould, realistic segment code, liquid crystal display. Knobs provide consistent push pull feedback matching the real aircraft. Native glare shield ensuring the same operating hand position as the real aeroplane. With streaming technology ensuring compatibility with all modules of MSFS 2020, X Plane 11 and 12, and comes with brackets, mounts, and compatible with desktop and cockpit mounting. Bomb Tech says they've heard one of the best. Oh, they look like they're pretty, uh, pretty good, don't they? This is the sort of stuff that I would need to get my head into DCS a little bit more. I don't even know what that's for. What aeroplane? Who knows what aeroplane is that? Wing fold on there. The F-18s or something similar, isn't it? Or the uh, F-8, yeah, something similar. These look stunning. Really, really good. Nice. The rudder pedals look quite good as well, don't they, to be fair? Oh, hey, who's that down there? Which means, actually, we're probably at top of descent. We're about to hit top of descent. So what do we need to go down to?
8. Where's Oji? That's weird. It's just lost itself a little bit there. And it hasn't actually received the fact that we've got to CMAC, which is what we've just passed. So I'm going to go direct to killer. Something in that's broken. Weird. Down we go. Oh, Zarsa, that'd be great. If Wing Wing give us a 737 FCU type thing, that'd be stunning. Uh, not welcome. Is anyone a usable? Is it is an FCU with PMDG? Could a SPAD profile get us partway there? Oh, no idea. There are a couple of people here that do know a lot about SPAD, though. Neil, I think, is one of them, and uh, David as well in the live chat. One of our channel members might be one of those as well. We're going to come right on top of this guy. Oshkosh have got ATC online apparently. Okay, MSP. Here, yeah, nice. I'll be sure to flush the toilet as we go over you. <laughs> right, let's have a little look at charts. So, flights, VFR ATIS, real ATIS. Departure 12 right, arrival 12 right, good. And we want the arrival information. Info Lima, 0605, 10 statue, miles, visibility, few clouds at 20,000 feet, temperatures minus 4, and dew point minus 16, altimeter 3040, 3040, runway 1-2 right approach in use, visual runway 1-2 left approach in use as well, so visual approaches folks, not ILS, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, fly, we'll hand fly her in. What do you reckon, instead of flying the ILS, would you guys want to see me tune and shoot the ILS? Birds near MSP. Runway 4 and 22 closed. Info Lima. Where'd he go? There he is. What's your speed, Ian? Let's get that low auto brake repaired. So we're going to start monitoring 126.7, which is CTAF. But we're only transmitting on 1228. Me
Minneapolis traffic, Osprey 2472 is descending via the Killer 3 arrival, passing through flight level 1, correction, through 10,000 feet. Expecting the visual approach for runway 12 right for report when established. So I'm just going to let VNAV do its thing traffic. today to see how it works. Minneapolis traffic, you'll be at 5803 field in our sights at our 2 o'clock position. We'll call passing Garak. I'm going to change my headset a little bit here, because uh, now it's in my headset, it actually sounds like it's uh, semi-deafening. Just how it's, it's losing the speed a little bit, isn't it? Look, it wants 280, but we're just saying an idle. And it's not particularly smooth on speed management. I guess it never really has been, though, has it, this aeroplane? What do you reckon, folks? Hand fly or ILS? And also, those of you who are in our club lounge, please remind me at the end of the stream today, before I shut down, make sure that. I check my contact manager because I've been given um, the pilot has sent me the scenery for tomorrow via marketplace which I didn't know was a thing um, but yeah pretty cool go to local pressure boink 3040 going to blow our VNAV path straight out of water Where's Ian? Looking good below. And we've not been to Minneapolis since uh, I think this originally got released from Flight B. There he is, he's further up ahead. So actually us reducing speed here is helping the separation quite nicely. Niels, GW5 will do. We'll use autopilot to get towards final approach and then we'll get it all off. Minneapolis traffic, Osprey 7 now for Golf, uh, left downwind, runway 12 left. Minneapolis traffic. So after traffic, 20 mile range to the airport now, we're going to change to SeaTac. Minneapolis traffic, Osprey 2472, I'll maintain 250 knots um, for aircraft behind Minneapolis traffic. Look how much it's slowing us down by here. Now we're down to almost 234 knots, my goodness. Good morning, David. Welcome. Zesty at four. Wherever you want, uh, Oliver. And yet, or that's already done, Doc, pre-descent, 110.3.121 inbound course. So that's already ready. Let's get DH. V pilot, hello, welcome. There is the developer behind tomorrow's um, Bogota Airport we'll be flying into for this Vats in Columbia event. Very exciting. SKBO. You can only purchase this stuff through the MSFS marketplace, so not on any online stores. But uh, look forward to seeing that tomorrow. I think from conversation you were saying as well yesterday or the day before, V Pilot, that uh, you've got a big update coming soon to that Minneapolis airport traffic, scenery. Three turning base for ILS one two. We'll call it that. Okay, so that's all on uh, CTAF. First, we'll call final. Uh, 
Minneapolis traffic for you, from UPS to Big Jersey. Uh, Minneapolis traffic, UPS 556, uh, currently passing John Z, uh, 13,000, uh, 10 nautical miles range, the airfield and changing to CTAF 126.7. that across otherwise we're going to get dual input there so we just monitor and listen to the one Minneapolis traffic uh, UPS 556 heavy uh, A300 passing John Z 12,000 feet so ultimate 3040 inbound via the killer 3 for the visual approach right one two right Traffic Osprey 2472 is about to turn our left downwind from overhead Greek. Um, we'll report when turning base. Any other traffic? So I'm going to just switch this to 1042. Go for much higher minimums. I'm not even going to bother psyching it there because it's just going to take forever and a day. Uh, but we'll, ch we'll change that for now, just to make sure that all adds up quite nicely. Where's he gone? There's he in there. And uh, Flight Beam's Minneapolis. There she is. Massive airport. Oh, we can see somebody's just landed, right where my cursor is. Very exciting. And there's our little infield cargo apron now underneath the engine. That's where we're parking. We can see one of the guys parked up there, actually, as the other one vacates. The new PS-53 is established on the localizer. We'll call fully established. Turning final. So, traffic what we'll do, turning your there, we'll extend. Away. One, two left, Minneapolis traffic. Uh, 230 knots, which is good. That's for our speed there at 8,000. So we'll keep it going down to 4. And 220. Landing lights. Uh oh. Nose light takeoff. Why has that been on the whole time? I thought I'd click that off. I thought I'm going to get a massive penalty on this flight now for that. Until we turn base in the upper traffic. What an approach. Lovely. Minneapolis traffic, UPS 2803, fully established, I will ask what to write. We will call final, final, slow down. There's the airport again. Engine animations are a bit weird, aren't they, in this new update? A little bit stuttery. Railed. And Minneapolis traffic, UPS 556 uh, passing Greek. 8,700 uh, feet speed, 220 knots, descending 4,000 on the downwind. Speed down, I think two about two ten will do. A bit clunky there. Bring that in. How are we doing? There's Ian, visual with him. So actually we'll set 215, but we're holding 220 quite nicely here, so we will keep with that. We're gonna extend our downwind legs slightly anyway to get separation with him. We might have to do a little land after, so we'll maintain visual with him as he starts to vacate. We'll look at touching down. Zato's on short final here somewhere. Can't see him though, and there's the CBD. 
And on the charts, that big body of water where we turn final is on the nose there. Actually, this is working out quite nicely, separation-wise. Let's bring that in. Dolls coming up, heading select is the mode we want now. And as long as we're at Zesty at 4,000, I'm happy. Uh, what have we got? Auto brake low. That's our park brakes off. Um, speeds 230. Clap extension 250. Let's go yeah, slacks 15. Golf, there we go. We start to dirty the aeroplane up. And that's going to help increase drag as well as increase lift. And in kind of direct result to that. Then you have the traffic we get to slow down a bit quicker. This is busy. Tracking to Payton. Then you have the traffic. Minneapolis traffic, UPS 5 Delta Papa, just brought a break downwind for runway 1 to right to 32. Where's he got? He's right up there. I could be proper sneaky and cut in in front, couldn't I? I won't know. I think that's called doing a Wesley. <laughs> right, lights, uh, signs, get rid of that, we don't need that. We want continuous relights, start selector. Probably put that on anyway, just in case. That's all good. Where'd he go? There he is. Now Minneapolis traffic, UPS 556, visual of the aircraft, um, Osprey always, uh, I think Osprey 2472 turning final, extended about 12 miles. We'll extend our downwind leg and uh, fit in behind, we're currently over the lakes, Minneapolis traffic. Yeah, traffic Osprey, we'll call this the lakes. Four mile final, runway, one two left, to land. Minneapolis traffic. Minneapolis traffic, UPS 1503, vacated so he's there. by uh, Wiki 5. Runway 1 to the right is clear. Well, that's probably got to be 2%. He's established on the localizer and continuing the approach for runway 1 to right. 10 nautical miles. So, 200. 19. Uh, Minneapolis traffic UPS 556 turning uh, right base for the visual 1 to currently 20 DME. Want to go uh, a bit more northerly, so it's a bit more like 0, 080. 0. 4000 to speed at 200 for now because we've got a load of tra tra traffic behind as well. Pause the music. Oh wow, got a massive thunderstorm that's just developing where we are. And all of a sudden, it's gone very cloudy. And very, uh, from Whiskey, crossing runway. And there's thunder and all sorts. Crossing runway. Zero eight five. In extraffic, I'm supposed to be going Golf Fake eighty twelve left. Going to taxi to the infield cargo via Papa Charlie Tango. Going to cross runway. Top right, Wintley. 
the crosswind there. We're going to zero nine five I mean, and down to three. Zero three vacated runway two two continuing taxi via mic mic three to the UPS cargo ramp. Do five hundred six hundred foot per minute. That'll do us. Oh no, that's plus. Whoopsie. Minus. Surely, mate. And uh, eighteen miles. Oh, we'll stick to 195. I don't want to decelerate too soon. We can do the deceleration shortly. Um, we're within speeds of flat 15 now and uh, also gear extension. So we've got options for drag and all that sort of thing. Keep smashing the like button, folks, if you're enjoying today. And uh, what I might do is get it ready now to just hand fly from here so we've got lights signs icing that's all set that's good okay let's make it difficult for ourselves autopilot off my throttles and I'll get the control visualizer up so you guys can see what inputs I'm making to the controls down on the bottom left of the screen. We'll hand fly this whole thing. What do we want? 121. A little bit turbulent there. And uh, Minneapolis traffic, UPS 556 heavies uh, on the visual approach, runway 1, 2 right, turning final 13 miles. Yeehaw. So, go down to about 3, we'll hold a 3. Thirty-three. Set. In the box. Coming up, traffic on straight two four seven two four nautical miles. Is there a mile? Just to approach speed. In the upper traffic. Okay, let's try and target one eighty. All of the pre-landing checks are all complete now. We're all done. We just focus on the task at hand, which is going to be landing the aeroplane. Trying to fly as accurately as possible as well, actually. It's, uh, it's probably the furthest out of hand flown the A300 up to now. Lap 15. over trim there so I would ordinarily have this the Toby eye tracker on now actually yeah let's do it let's, let's use this as well that'll make it that keeps it tricky doesn't it that adds because I actually always find this really quite difficult when your head starts popping about <laughs> flight path vector that's what we want we want the bird Here down 180 knots. A four knot crosswind at the moment, yeah, left traffic. to right. I'm going to go the cross runway. What to right at Charlie? In the after traffic. And get down three green. Laps 20. Traffic, That's what I want. I couldn't get my camera view quite nice there. there. Full flap speed's good for it. Final deceleration now, four miles. And Minneapolis traffic at UPS 556 heavies, uh, short final visual one, two rights, Minneapolis. Really, really cannot get, ever get comfortable with the Toby Eye Tracker. 
on uh, final approach and stuff. I find it so difficult because your head kind of moves around constantly. Real in reality, you don't do that. Power, and then it becomes very distracting. Hello Darts Channel, welcome Paul. How have you been? Just let tickling the speed a little low there, but we can solve that. Here we go. Flare. Touchdown. Keeping the nose up. Reverses out. Nose is down. Decelerate. Toby Eye Tracker because it's horrendously sideways. My brakes. Oh, I can't find my charts. Where are we? Whiskey 7. Come on, bird. Get rolling. 309 for the minute. Uh, centre line 1.3G. Not too bad for cargo. Certainly shouldn't smash the gin. And we're we'll okay, right. How many of them strap here? Got UPS 556 heavies vacated. One, two, right at Whiskey 7, taxi into the uh, inland. Thinking you bomb. Cargo apron. Infield cargo apron. Minneapolis traffic, UPS 5, data papa heavy, then 5 miles, 1, 2, right. Speed brake. Yeah, for the next one I won't bother with the Toby Iron Tracker. That's, what, that's precisely why I only use it on the ground. APU, afternoon Ashton. Zara. Now we need QATL. I bet it doesn't have anything on the inland, infield car away from it. Click stand 3 for now. 422 are closed, so we shouldn't have anybody on this on the no tam, so we just check left and right. I'm going to call up for it though. Uh, we'll pop the strobes on anyway. It's the UPS 747 8 now in final. How are you doing, Ashton? size of that thing. Minneapolis CBD in the background there. Just hoping I can time this nicely, so just bear with me. Put that on automatic. it nice. Here we are. Screenshots. Bosh, got it. Wish there was a button here to reset DH to zero as well. Callum, welcome. We are on leg one of two, so we're about to turn around and head back towards Rockford now, which uh, should be a little bit quicker, flight time-wise. 
That's good, that's good, that's good, that's a lot. That's dealt with. And I have no idea where stand 3 is here within this. I know that dog, I've said that, but it's trying to find the right ramp. So one to one to six. Eight. Oh it's all the way over there, chuffing it. Maybe not eight. GSX. Taxi lights off. <laughs> Custom GSX profile for this. Obviously not 100% precise and easy to kind of navigate with uh, charts and things, but the only ones that are actually on the charts for me to read are on the FedEx side, which is bizarre. But anyway, here we are, parking up. Seven eight seven fan, have a good day. Thanks for flying by. I'm gonna follow him precisely here. Got me coming in a bit skew if. Tells me. Brakes. Engine condition is. Gonna shout at me for rubbish parking now, isn't it? That wasn't a very good parking. Correct. <laughs> No, it wasn't. Oh my god. Is that Donald Trump? That is that. That's Donald Trump. <laughs> what? Why is he in GSX? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> That's horrendous. No wonder you got it so badly wrong. Uh, right, requesting boarding. There we go. Shut the neck. Let's hope he's not driving one of these next. What the? How's that driving without any people? Make parking great again, yeah. <laughs> I'll say you've seen Donald Trump as well, Doc. Oh. There she is. The beast. Uh, let's go to... Let the stairs get up first. That'll do for a screenshot. Uh, let's have a little look at New Sky and see how well we've scored. I've probably been absolutely destroyed for having the lights, um, the nose lights set, set to take on still. I thought I'd top that off, so we're probably going to have a score of about 7 or 8. Oh no, 10. Happy days. Yeah, traffic, United 1087. There we are. I'm happy with that. The little hand, uh, hand flow final approach as well. Yeah, 13 on bars. Uh, That's pretty one, good. Two, one, 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 one,
Right, so we're going to book a flight now. Uh, we're going to go schedule free flight cargo. 556 KMSP to KRFD A306. Made the great, it's pretty good as you can see here. Uh, GSX is working fine, absolutely fine. So what I'm doing now, folks, is I'm just creating a new flight plan. Uh, so, fine. Drag it across here onto the screen so you guys can see this a bit better. Just make sure I've got our route back. So what are we at? MSP12 right. That's 30 and actually with my UPS. A lot of spray today for this, so we're going to do change the call signs. We're in November 173, Papa. What time are that? Uh, Fox 12 right and arriving, and uh, yeah, we'll stick with 0 1 for now. Zumbro 7 to Odie, Kinsey and Alex 1. Oh, it's literally all Cypriot Gavis anyway. So we shall do that. And the altitude, 33,000 feet. Uh, uh, we'll do cost index 80 this time. See what difference we get. Generate. Ian, have a good night, mate. Warren, even the low resolution textures, like the sign when we zoomed in on that. Fetch modified, and just so we don't miss it, joint, joint. Got someone about to touch down. Oh, God, look at the central business district in the background. Squints you don't see. United waiting on thing there. Look at the difference in quality with this flight beam studio scenery compared to that crosswind Rockford though. It's nice and day in comparison, isn't it? Look at that. The detail, the textures, everything. Just so much better. I don't think it's worth 15 quid. I think the uh, textures there are quite poor. This is a different ball game though. This is a beautiful flight beam studio scenery. Worse than Stonehenge, Doc. Right, let's refresh Simbri, get the latest plan, and then we'll jump into the aircraft and we will get everything prepped. Just for now, I need to get it pre filed on Fat Sim. MSP to Rockford. Fuel endurance in two hours. Awesome. Uh, what's the biz ramp near? Do you mean here at, at Flight Beams Minneapolis? Where's the biz ramp? Hold on, I've got to find it now. Hey, Alice Traffic, uh, Vision Jet uh, 1 Rubio Tango is short time of runway 1 to right. Where is it? To the east over the runway. General Aviation Park near the fire station. Traffic in a Canadian 7 departing runway 12 right away, went down to departure, and the United Vision Jet is slowing down uh, to the lights of the park. That's not it, that's Delta. Oh, I've got no idea where this is, Neil.
got the signature aviation hangars here. These are quite low res, actually, surprisingly. But I suppose the argument there is not many people bother with private aviation in the sim, do they? So the textures and the details all in the, the terminal building. Uh, where is it? Let's see. Oh, check the neck. There we go. A little example. We've been here before, had a little look. Look at the roof on the cargo house behind you. Which, behind me where? Behind the camera or behind the aeroplane? Where we've parked. Callum, the route is in our Discord server, mate. In the live streams tab. Crikey. It's almost like the new uh, US military cargo stuff. Camo. Anyway. Anyway, I'm not too fussed about roofs. Oh, right, there he is. I was about to say, where is he? But he's there in the vision jet, which for us has appeared as a citation, I think, or a Learjet. I'm not sure which. Tiny little dinky private jet. Yeah, the roof textures are quite poor here as well, bizarrely. Uh, but I suppose roof textures, something you're not really that worried about. There's the route for you, Callum, thanks to Doc in the live chat. Anyone else flying along, there's the route that you need. You just need to decide an aircraft and a course sign. Let's dive back to the business. So. A bit of acid portion, that's all tripped off. I'm going to pull that back online, jolly good. Um, we're going to go to here, my flights, import from Simbri. There we go, MSP to Rockford. Oh, that's going to work for a minute there. Weight and balance update from Simbury. High load, we get the little wheel at the top here, refueling, just hit finish now. And then uh, we're going to go menu, ACARS, press to Simbury. And we get the new route loaded in ready. So, um, going to start a new one on Palanta. That a flight plan. 556. We'll start the flight on New Sky as well. So that's fired up ready. And uh, no, that's already done. So now we have some new charts, which we'll go through shortly, but for the first little bit we're going to actually bust through all of this. So we are UPS 556 again. Get all the new cargo on board. We can hit these buttons just to refill it all. And then zero fuel weight center of gravity is here. 30.0. We can just type 30. Looks like so. Let's close the cargo door. No, it hasn't. Why is it telling me this? I don't know. I don't know what to do. So, that's all good. That's all good. And on the flight plan page, let's cross the charts now. So, departing 
one two right to get home onto one degrees. Nice long runway, 3,000 metres in length onto the Zumbro 7, which is this. Runway one two right, let's start doodling actually. Here we go. So this applies to us here. I love this new feature, it's great. Long anticipated. DME aircraft at signed headings from 060 clockwise to 100 degrees cross 7 DME MSP at 3500 feet and uh, that is not us non DME aircraft equipped aircraft signed from heading 060 clockwise to 100 cross FGT farming Okay, well, actually, neither of those are really relevant to us then. So, what we can do is. Minute. We can go back to doodling. So, 138. Is that actually the way heading? 121. So, initially, 121 degrees find ourselves heading out this way a little bit and then at some point we're going to head back onto the track and set our sit out to jet at 4,000 feet climbing up to Zumbro and then from there Odie was on our flight now wasn't it? Yes, so where you can see the dash line they only transition once 17.9 that's uh, where we're then headed next top amplitude is 7,000 that's per the below This gump down here. But that's the bit that's important for us on this particular SID on the Zumbro 7. Tops of 7,000 for jets, and set 5,000 for props. So we can top out at 7,000 and then initially start to root a bit deeper uh, or higher up rather. But as Doc's saying in the live chat, like a lot of places in the States, uh, there's going to be a vector departure. So we can put that in the box. MSP, SID, one, two, right. Zumbro seven, OD transition. Oops, don't click that Baxter. So 12 right, Zumbro seven, OD, insert. And there's our discontinuity. So again, we've got a department heading mode, not LNAV, because it won't activate. Or oh, if it will, it will just fly runway heading and wherever heading's on the box, the heading select. Oh, there we go. OD, top descent to Kinsey, then RFD. So we know it's a short route, and we had an hour log, didn't we? Um, we should do the OFP here. There it is, the Alexis 1. By Kinsey, so um, right, keep on, but, uh, RFD star ILS 01. Not sure if it's going to be via Kenny, but we haven't got the Alexis one, so we're going to select that and it's Kinsey transition. I'm just going to have a quick look at the charts here 30. 30. Okay. We won't need to do that, we'll just vector into the final, correct on final. So, discontinuity for departure, away we go, Odi to Kinsey and then Alexis, or Alexis, 30, and then vectors again towards Kenny, final approach. Like so, with then the missed approach data there too. So, what have we got in it? Maybe. Winds. So again, we're just going to go on to Simbri FOFP, and then we'll just uh, put in some of these. So 330 for cruise, wasn't it, on the way out? This next leg, sorry, on the way back.
Yeah, perfect. So in that case, we're going to pop in cargo 78% loaded. We do flight level 310 and 296.87. Flight level 150, 298.64, and then 100. MSP I'll do meta zero one zero seven. Take off page, tie the charts, we don't need those. Got a pre-flight going on here, so apologies if you're chatting away and I've missed a few bits. On the performance tab, I'm going to sync this to point two to the right. Calculate, Lexus 63, B1150, 150, 153. Seven while we're there, and we're also going to preset two five zero boarding complete. And we're heading one twenty one is set there as well. Is that good. That's good. That good. Not flex sixty three was it? Sixty three and THS zero point two down. Sort out surely, so zero point two down my notes, THS. Or two right, Zombro seven, initial seven thousand vectors, flight level three three zero cruise, bottom meter three zero four zero. All over the place. Uh, right, that looks good. Overhead pan looks good. We should have gathered power for now. That's lovely job, Luke. Back to the chat. What do we got? Vexus Department, did you need to Docs is a thing to pronounce as Freddy. Well, I have asked a few times how was my mic compared to the sim, and uh, most well, the people that did answer at the time said it sounded fine, so. Yeah, you guys will just have to let me know. The problem is the A300 is immensely quiet in cruise, and then all of a sudden, oh sorry, it, on the ground, uh, yeah, it's quiet in cruise, and then it's mega loud on the ground, and there's no happy medium with this. So if I turn it down too much on the ground, it will mean that you won't hear anything from the aeroplane at all in flight. Um, but yeah, all very weird. Looks as it was fine before it changed after you parked the plane. Well, I didn't change any settings. We'll have to look, have a little monitor. Oh good, I bet he's not on CTAF. There's a United there just busting on in. Said it was closed. Oh, door open. Close goes closed, that's all good.
No, what do you all think, those of you watching? Same issue as Doc? see what we get here. Actually, which way do we need to face? Oh, perfect. Yeah, let's get let's get the ice. So we're gonna push start facing west on Tango. We're gonna head out. We should have gone to the remote de-icing area actually, silly me. But with the ice here on the stand. Head out of Yankee, whiskey ten for a long takeoff. Badge says, autopilot won't engage, I have to hand fly the thing. If you check this, after you turn around, these would have tripped off. That's the only thing I can think of. Ah, oh, jolly good there here. The one. So yeah, actually we've got a few minutes before we're due to push, so we've done this pretty good on the timing. Real short ta uh, taxi for us today. Nice MPS. You did what I did the other week, where I had to run downstairs and preheat the oven for some slow cooked pork. <laughs> now I can hear you again. That's very weird. Mind you, I've just turned the packs off, so it might be the immensely loud air conditioning noises, perhaps. The ice, the wings, protect the uh, expensive gin inside. They're separate feeds, so they shouldn't do. What I have done though now, Doc, is I've turned my microphone to the zero that it's set. So it's as loud as my mic will ever go. Without me changing around with some of the things and making it sound like I'm on helium, though, of course. Want to do that? Yeah, the A300 is inconsistently loud to the point where I find that I can't actually get my head around the sound settings. Don't know if you guys all think the same. Uh, Minneapolis traffic, UPS 556 heavy stand 10, I think, at the UPS uh, infield cargo apron. It's got a little bit of heated uh, glycol on the wings, and uh, we'll be pushing and starting facing west on Tango, Minneapolis traffic. Yeah, Doc, we'll get the packs back on, see, see how the noise goes now. The world's loudest packs. How's that?
Oh, we fiddled with that already. Okay, but system sounds bizarrely. That'll do. Viewpoint, nice. Flew aboard the A300 uh, a number of times from SKBO to Miami, 90s, 2001 American Airlines. So that would have been the luxury liner, right? Or was that the other one that they did? I don't know if they had more than one. We've obviously got, we've got a paint scheme for mini builds that has the um, all of this on it, like the luxury liner stuff. Although now, come to think of it, I think that might have been transatlantic ops to Heathrow and back. Not sure entirely. Anyway, push start at our own discretion. We're clear right. And we're clear left. Beacons on. Yoink. Lights and signs. Galley shared. Overhead panels checked. Facing northwest on Tango. Bar breaks off. AP bleeds on. And we'll use crank A again today. Actually, I think we should start two first. On the last one, I started one first, but I think that's uh, IAE habits for the BA startup procedure that were creeping in there. Fair enough, Rap. N2 gauge there. the music. Mild panic then. I thought we were pushing the wrong way. But we're not. One two right Nate and Gregory Five TV. Same questions. There you go. One two right. Uh, start one. It says departing runway one two left one two right runway one seven for uh, on uh, the Atis. So we'll pick one two right because there's a couple of folks that are actually using the passenger side of things. Our brakes on. Archer Finnick. Also distracted there. One seven for going west. Doc says. Interesting. Didn't know that. Yeah, we're heading southeast. So flex is sixty three. Water brake max. Speed brake. Reset zero. about there. Flight controls. I'll do better first. Oh, live in the dream. That's not good. Sorry to hear that. Flex. Heading. Roll. Reset 250. Minus fives. Continuous relight, lead off, AP off, taxi lights on, get the galley power back online. Yeah, we've got the packs on there, good. 
Uh, actually, just quick check of the right at the top for the oxygen because I forgot that earlier. I'm going to pop the transponder on now. Uh, quick recall check. Happy days. Right, heart breaks off. Minneapolis traffic, uh, UPS 556 heavy, taxiing to Hold Point Whiskey 10, runway 1 to right via Tango and Yankee Minneapolis. So after takeoff, initially fly runway heading, we're going to climb up just for a few hundred feet and then we're going to turn right for vectors out down towards the uh, our Zumbro 7 departure and Jeddah being the, the waypoint that we're going to vector to. For the purpose of taxi, you can see our location there in the magenta. We're going to head out of the infield cargo area here and then turn right on Yankee to hold at Whiskey 10 uh, before lining up and departing on 1 2. Right, like so. Big tailwind, as Rab's saying there, is going to push us along back towards Rockford. Fair enough, Nate. We'll stick with one, two right legs. We've planned for that now. Now we're going to be on planning. We're in the verge of executing the plan. It's a bit like that view I can't stand. It needs to be a little bit more like that. That's a personal preference thing, but. Uh, right, such a big airport this. Clear left rather, that's right. We're clear right as well. Minneapolis classic UPS five for Badada pushing back in the cargo on on the This is the remote de-icing area, which we would pull into if we had icing to kind of think about. If I'd have thought about that, we could have done that for the departure today, but I didn't think about that. Pop those out the belly. There's the whole point with the wigwags. Approach is clear. Minneapolis traffic, UPS uh, 556 heading our whiskey 10 lining up runway 1 2 right. Ah, chuffing thing. Honestly, the Toby Eye Tracker sometimes makes me want to swear. And the click spots on this aeroplane trigger me somewhat. Right, there we go. If in doubt, deactivate it all and use your mouse. Oh my goodness, Carlito, thank you. That's not the first time I've done that. <laughs> it's because that, that phone, my phone went off. Just as we started the taxi there, now I got well sidetracked. 1515. They're extended. Hold on, I've got to press this about a thousand times. Right, give up. That's not working anymore. Uh, right, lights, signs, APU, everything's ready. Let's rock and roll. So, 
Minneapolis traffic UPS 556 heavy is taking off. One two right on the Zumbro 7 departure. Uh, initially, fly runway heading after takeoff up to 7,000 with vectors. Minneapolis traffic. Our brakes off. 40%. Brakes off. Saw engine noise really makes this aeroplane. 80 miles power set. V1 rotates, V2. Positive right. Gear up. There she goes. Then flaps up and landing gear is off. Get the nose lights off, runway turn off lights off, ignition off. It'll turn. Interesting. Auto thrust is broke. Do I see that? It's not reverted to climb mode. Stand by. Let's see what it does now. Jellets, insert, nav. So, nav, prof. Minneapolis traffic, UPS 5, Papa Delta, that's the taxi to the way. One to the right is the Yankee, we skip them. Let's see what it does here. 250 knots. Bust it again, look. So this is solving it. Okay, it's solving itself. That's only because we're leveling off at seven, though. Let's keep going. Three, three. Not wanting to behave that well on the second leg, is it? Okay, I think we have 250 knots nicely now. That's a bit better. Minneapolis traffic, uh, UPS 556, passing 7000, uh, direct jet at, and uh, final call Minneapolis, uh, changing to Unicorn 1228. I mean, you just wanted to accelerate though, dock earlier, so it won't be the tailwind that's caused that. That'll be an issue within the aeroplane, I think. Because it was going up to 265 knots and wanted to continue to actually accelerate as well, which is bizarre. We'll keep an eye on it. Let's 
oscillate through 10. Good. So let's hope we'll see. Away we go. Who else have we got flying along on this next leg then? One sector tomorrow. We're heading out of Ton Contin in the PMDG 737 800. And uh, we are off to Columbia to join uh, the 24 hours of Columbia event on uh, on Matson, which would be quite cool. And for the first time, we'll be flying into um, Bogota with uh, V-Pilot's Bogota scenery, which is only available on the MSFS Marketplace. We'll be taking a little look at that, flying into that Matson Columbia event at 24 hours of ATC coverage, which would be quite cool. Badger says he's got no auto thrust and no autopilot. Everything is broken on his A300 on the turnaround. Oof. Maybe turnarounds are a bit of an issue for it still. Um, be worth clicking auto again, Badger, to see if, if it wants to auto or not. Yeah, definitely a bit weird, the behaviour. 750 for the way in. And that's going to go jet it and then out 120 degrees ish. Back to the silence above 10. because then we can get the charts on the top right. So that's our little routing for the next sector and we're on the Zumbro 7, you can see there we've done this little vector that I drew. Rejoined the direct to Jeddah and then from there 121 degrees out to Odi or Nodine and then uh, into Mila, uh, Frank and Lexus and then Freddy, not Ferdy. Yeah, Freddy, it makes sense still, doesn't it? Thanks for that. Uh, yeah, into Freddy with us a halt, if needed. We won't need it. Uh, and then we're going to basically vector down towards YOLO, but not quite YOLO. We're just going to route down to intercept the ILS. Runway 01. Straight up final. Going to look a bit like that. So Alexis. Quick little punt downwind, in on base. Jobs are good. No, we're coming in from Kinsey. Good spot. We're coming in from here. 1768. And then we'll just correct to fly a bit more of a proper downwind. And then route down towards Kenny. Uh, Kenny at 2500. Again with 2000. And the ILS uh, minimums here. 929. So we're going to come in actually kind of this direction here, route in, and then like so. ILS frequency for the all important stuff. There it is, 008 degree track and 1093 for the inbound ILS. Oops. And the airport elevation, 742. The closest we can actually get is 750. for tower back online. Uh, the CTAF frequency though, if we didn't have any ATC, would be 181, 118.1. And actually, I think we've got all of Zao airspace top down if no other. I think we've got Chicago center of mine to 120.35 by the looks of it. In a short while, once we get to the airspace. Right, right what have we got here? Kinsey, Alex Freddy Manuel, Kenny. One oh nine three. 
that's good. You only have to change a digit and then 008. Like so. Runway lengthwise, uh, 01 is 2,499 meters. So it's a little on the short end. I'm just going to check the ATIS that they might have generated for Rockford. Error. Brilliant. So we have at the minute no idea what approach is going to be in use. Uh, I can see it here though, Rockford Information Echo, uh, 0107, altimeter 3036, arrival expect vectors, visual approach runway 10, departures expect runway 7. There we go. So visual approach runway 1, so like we did a minute ago into Minneapolis, we'll fly that visual approach. And that's Echo, so I'm going to write down Info Echo, visual Runway 1. Is it Charlie 6 again to park dock? Altimeter 3036. Temperatures 0 degrees and dew point minus 8. Alrighty. That's fine, that's set. Uh, and Chicago set of 1235. Speak of the devil. Just about to change. Beat me to it. Uh, Eight point three to send down to seven thousand inbound for uh, Rockford. All right, I'll see what we're giving, Doc. Give us twenty one eighty uh, Chicago Star. Good morning. Um, you could well three two four five. Uh, 249 low, uh, are you, uh, where'd you depart from? Um, Fort Wayne International. While we right, wait for a gap, at, uh, flight of a just going to do a little bit of admin, get our approaches prepped. 320. 320. 320. Just checking in, 350. 80 heavy, we're with you, 7,000 inbound, Rockford. United uh, 2180 to check that squawk. Uh, we've never got a squawk code. Uh, 3245. Three, three, 3245. Alright, 3245 is flashing mm, for you. 930 is the closest. Chicago, Southern American 94, checking it. 350. We're 94 in a contact, about 350. Now, UPS 556. Uh, squawk 3264. And you put that is 331. We're in a contact bottle 300. You put 556, squawk 3264. 364, you put uh, 556. You put 2180, what are you setting up for? Uh, ILF 1. He's called us anyway. Yeah, it's 2180, uh, roger, flying zero, 1100 to send me 18 3000. Back to Zalus, only one approach. 118, right, 18, 1100 and uh, we'll maintain uh, altitude, spec vectors, ILS 01, 2180. Uh, negative, descend to 3000. Alright, 3000 and 100. So, yeah, Chicago ground, uh, sorry, Chicago Center, Rockford Tower, and Rockford Ground all online now. Uh, again, big thank you to these guys coming on, giving us some ATC, really good. 3264, I think. He hasn't changed, told me to correct that.
Let's see if we're in his airspace yet. Uh, so he's taking us a little early. That's a nice thing. Uh, we've got UPS 5 Papa Delta behind, just taken off. Who else have we got here? Uh, Bingstone, the A300's just departed. We've got UPS 2, 5, uh, 2557 lining up for his departure. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I think that's all of us. There's me. Uh, EP556, uh, radar contact, part of a 270, maintain part of a 330. Check the squawk at 3264. Yeah, we'll go. We're squawking 3264 and uh, continue flight level 330. It's 5560. Alright, looks like not working. Squawk 7057 up. Uh, 7057 UPS 556. 7057. Seven zero five seven. Was that it? I feel like I'm now doubting myself. <laughs> I don't feel as razor sharp as I usually am. Yeah, and you've been fine for six. We're in contact, follow the two nine zero, maintain five three three zero. I will call you pitch five six. Nice MPS. I do love a good lasagna. Not had one in a long time myself, actually. UPS 2180, it's going to maintain 2500. Coming out of I hope we get a visual approach again, in which case we just have to manage. We'll have the ILS tuned in as a backup as well, like before, and that will give us a little bit of vertical and lateral guidance as well if we get a little bit stuck. Uh, but a visual approach is exactly that, so we're not necessarily cross-checking against all the instruments. Yes, but they are there for us to just quickly uh, glance at and have a little look, uh, and then yeah, it will kind of go from there. there. The, the APS says visual approach, not on ILS. information echo at Rockford. Hey Fermi, yeah, we have Echo, yeah, UPS 556. Yeah, arrivals, expect vectors, visual approach, runway 1. So, proper flying. Autopilot off. And we hand fly the approach again. This time I need to do a little bit better with speed management, so it's always about looking at what happened beforehand and get the tips and things to try and improve it. Righty, British Airways flight from New York diverts to St. John's as the pilot becomes incapacitated. Oof. What do you all think of annotations on uh, Navigraph charts? It's fantastic, isn't it? Thirty coming up. Yeah, J Space. Yeah, another. Um, was it Delta? 
Well, it's been United, hasn't it, quite a lot recently. But yeah, I had heard there was a compressor stall as well. well was that? that was only a few days ago as well, wasn't it? Delta flight in Aruba. Let me Google it again. Delta flight. Aruba. Hey, now, 1551, Yeah, three days ago, a Boeing made Delta Airlines flight out of Aruba bound for Atlanta was turned to force, uh, forced to turn back and make an emergency landing after a engine blowout on takeoff. Pilot of the 737-900 circled around the Caribbean island four times before coming back into land following the mechanical issue. 168 passengers on board, in addition to four flight attendants and two pilots, and they were forced to spend an extra night in the room before being flown out on Wednesday. That doesn't sound too bad, though. Delta 581 from Aruba to Atlanta experienced a mechanical issue shortly after takeoff, and it landed safely and returned to the gate uneventfully, they said. He's probably... He's pretty eventful, though, isn't it? A compressor stall. Slash engine failure. Southwest 2119 at Midway. We will, well, we'll go with that. question clearance, please. Okay, stand by. Afternoon, Darcy2. How are you doing? You saw what happened, J-Space. You, you literally were there when, when it when it happened. Crikey. Uh, Center United, 1051. You want us to hold circle line 9 right for Christian 9 I reckon PMDG are hoping yeah, to get it out for Cross the Pond, but I reckon it might be a week or two after Cross the Pond. It's 2182 miles from Kenny, cleared Allison, we one approach. Doc, yeah, they do speak pretty quick, don't they? But if they deal with it as if every flight is an event, it's as realistic as it gets. Wow, crikey, you work at Aruba Airport. How is it to watch, then? Probably quite dramatic, right? Priced. Uh, UPS 556 request to send. 556, send 18, 530. 7810 230, uh, UPS 556. Good spot, Doc. Getting well sidetracked with that news article. UPS 2180. Let's get her down. Uh, contact the tower now. Good day. Upstairs 2180, contact tower, now good day. Over to tower 181, or 180, see. No water break, that'll do us. Down we go. What's our VDEV? Doesn't really say. And the uh, Charlotte's in the United States, 1651, we're going to start from the Nantes Center and looking to pick up iPod and the box from the Kilo. Don't forget, though, we have got vectors as well. Chicago Center, hello UPS 5, Papa Delta, maintaining customer 270 inbound, Kiba. United uh, 1551, PTC Center, runway 9 Center, full and slotted away. Yeah, we got it, uh, Manitoba 9 Center, United 1551. Southwest 2119, Oh yeah, Dwell. Dwell saying that. Good afternoon, mate. Just been speeding up his PC, it says. Heavy to 17, 10, uh, 1 10, UPS 556 heavy. Uh, yeah, without speeding his PC up without too much luck, but a bit of defragging going on now, so it's the consolidation, isn't it? And um, improving the efficiency of your uh, bits of uh, your, your file UPS structures. UPS 5, and things. Uh, Delta, we had a contact, follow up 270, pounds discussion to send one zero ten thousand pilot discretion, UPS five for pilot. On three twenty seven alpha, we had a contact, part of a three one zero. Flight number three one zero. I think we'll keep the uh, keep the speed brake out as far out as it would deploy. 
and we'll uh, send 3,000 foot per minute. Oh, it's just self. United 1551, turn left point 070, runway 9, center clear for takeoff. Oh, I know uh, why. What the heck is it doing? Uh, problem? It was almost like it was pulsing the speed brake then. Uh, no, don't worry about that. That's, an, uh, that's just a. Uh, you've got to make it 250 knots Very until weird. I uh, free you up. Anyway, let's and clear it up. You've got to just, uh, you're going to be right up actually to the first pick, so don't worry about that. Alright, clear right, takeoff, flying 070. Alright, clear takeoff, flying 070. So Alexis is then uh, 5 miles to Freddy uh, with vectors at that point, so it's going to be a little bit of a stretch. Chris, any weekday streams coming up? Yeah, so from, this is the last weekend stream now for quite a few weekends because. Uh, my work schedule now is going to pull us, pull me, into uh, working during the weekends. So the next load of streams will all be midweek again, basically. That helps you plan how we're, how it's all going to turn out. Ready at seven thousand. No chance. Dive, dive, dive. We almost need like one of those submarine sirens. <laughs> this is the steepest we can go, I think, without really kind of starting to accelerate the aeroplane. We want a happy place between maybe an idle descent and the use of auto throttle. But even that's being a bit funky today because it keeps holding the speed up, so I've just had to re click it to make it activate 280 knots again. So we've got uh, 23 5 currently. Rockford. Uh, 3036. Standby instrument matches. TRPs and auto. I will bring speed down to two four. We'll do two forty. And I don't do this often. Do I need to request? Rockford's down here somewhere. Not too far away. Or is it? Yep. Uh, you got your PDC, uh, call for taxi and turn on your transponder, please. There it is, right there. That's All right. Rockford. Southwest 2119, ready to taxi. Turn on your transponder. Just start to smooth this out. Do you lose any files when you do that to our? 2557, Chicago Center, roger. Tucker Center, good afternoon, United 1007, flight level 311 for 360. Uh, 1007, just uh, good morning, and check the squawk for 0630. Yes sir, 0630, United 1007. Flash by 27 Alpha, request descent. Alpha 327 Alpha, follow the discretion, descend them 1810,000. Discretion maintained, uh, We've got that work cut out for us today. And so now if I also pick up the ADIS, which is information echo, I believe. Almost want to go. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, yeah, we'll have echo. Uh, thanks, I'll switch it. Now it's just change the box drive. Bring that to 12. EPS 556 contact approach, uh, Rockford approach on uh, 1 and 2 1 4 uh, 1210 for approach, uh, UPS 556. Thanks for the ATC. Have a good day. See ya. Good day. Okay. cleared. We're 
Eagle. Uh, 556 heavy rapid approach. Hey, you could approach shallow UPS 556. UPS 556 heavy rapid approach. Expect dials from a one left approach. Traffic altimeter 3036. Level Jarlis 01 and ultimate 3036 556 heavy. So, ILS approach it is, folks. That's a good job. UPS 556 heavy, descend maintain 7000, fly heading 130 vectors of final approach course. Uh, descend 7000, uh, and uh, right turn heading 130 vectors for final approach course, UPS 556. Do. Jolly good. Of course he is, stop. Whoop whoop. We should have flown off spray. So into Kenny. Next frequency 18 1. And then ground 21 9. A bit choppy on final reps. Approach, hello, UPS 5 provider, descending uh, 100,000 inbound there, Alex. UPS 5 Papa Delta, heavy, rack for the pro, track for altimeter 3036, expect dials from only one approach, and verify signed up with you. Expect uh, one approach, and uh, can you repeat the last point, UPS 5 Papa Delta? UPS 5 Papa Delta Heavy, what was your assigned altitude? Uh, 10,000 feet, UPS 5 Papa Delta. That plane hasn't really refreshed. Oh well. It'll realise we've landed in a minute. Keep smashing the like button, folks. We're almost there. Seven thousand. UPS 556, heavy to send maintain 3000. Send maintain 3000, UPS 556. Both. UPS 5, Papa Delta, heavy, maintain 10000. One zero thousand UPS five speed doesn't creep over two forty five, I'm happy. And there's the airport. Ah Doc, yeah, sods it all. Gonna bring that to green dot. That tailwind's helping keep that speed up, the air speed up a little bit here. 
Just something to be wary of. Uh, what are we below 250 knots? Uh, VFE slap 15. That's going to help increase the drag. Start to slow this aeroplane down a little bit without using speed brakes so much. It's quite choppy, isn't it, Badger? Sign, Papa Delta, heavy, about. Zero Pause the music. Heading one, three, zero, you can Ooh, it's going to be a tight turn. Back and start letting it trickle down to 180. One approach is active, 137. It's going to be a very tight turn. UPS 556, heavy, fly heading 100. Heading 100, UPS 556, heavy. 220, we need to lose the altitude a little bit more. Go 10,000 foot per minute. Actually, let's get a bit proactive with this. So, UPS speed brake. UPS 556, heavy, turn left heading 040, intercept the runway 1. Uh, left 040 and intercept 01 there, uh, localizer, UPS 556. Five this is very bumpy. 215, flat 15. VL. Look at that. UPS 556, heavy 5 miles from Gilney. Maintain at or about 2,500 until established on localizer. Clear down from the one of Hey, Roger, maintain 2500 and clear the ILS 1 approach. Uh, PS 556 heavy. 10 miles. Need speed to come down to 180. 205, flat 20. That'll do us. VL's active 040, 2500, 180, 930 for the minimums. And lights, signs, continuous relight. That's all good, that's all set. Power brakes off. Retracted and armed for the speed brake. It's cleared a lot of the stuff below. 2500 and now turning. Look at that for a compressed approach. My goodness. UPS 5 Papa Delta Heavy, the Oof. enemy team, 7000. Land. 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 160. Gear down. Now UPS 556 established uh, 017 miles. UPS 556 heavy, retro contact, Rockford Tower 118.1181. Tower 18 1, UPS 556 heavy. Thanks, ATC. Have a great day. See ya. Yep, yep. 164 flap, 18 1. And 21 9 for the next. Get down 3 green and flaps uh, full 30 40. Rockford Tower, good uh, afternoon. It's UPS 556 heavy uh, on final ILS 01, 6 miles. UPS uh, 556 heavy, Rockford Tower, wind at 020 at 10, runway 1, clear up, clear land, traffic parts across the runway. Roger, we're looking at 01, clear land, uh, UPS 556 heavy. At righty, so Rockford Tower, kid, Marty, my throws. Executive 392, hold it short, runway 7. Executive 392, uh, let's see, can you be right for me to take off? We're ready to go, so set 392. Continue. That's an early minimum. Uh, traffic off 4 miles. My throws. Mile, across the runway, so no delays, please. Fly runway heading, wind 0 0 at 1 0, runway 7, clear for takeoff. Fly runway heading, no delay, so set 392, runway 7, clear for takeoff. Set the three.
Hello Cornwolf, welcome. Here we go. 32, 17, 30, 20, 10, 5. Touchdown. And that's the nose. Reverse green. Say reverse green. Yes. 392, contact rapid departure. Oh, one, Not actually one, reverse one, green. Over to 121.0. Exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 60 knots. Okay, here, Delta. Welcome back to Rockford, folks. An up and coming cargo hub. You get five and six a uh, heavy ta ta taxi taxi by. Uh, let's see. You get five and six a uh, heavy taxi by Alpha cross runway. Yes. Seven and, and, and contact ground one two one point nine on the other side. Alpha cross seven and uh, twenty one nine for ground on the other side. Uh, thanks to the ATC. Have a great day. UPS five fifty six here. Two thirty two foot per minute. Bingo. Right on the centre line. Uh, always gin, Nate the Great. That's off. Master switch and start landing lights. Those lights, right and left to clear. He's on the climb out. What's that ruddy brake bug? We don't want that on a runway crossing, do we? Let's be having ya. Let's go. Flaps up. That's disarmed. Ground. Good afternoon. Uh, UPS 556 heavies uh, vacated uh, on Alpha. UPS 556 heavy. Good afternoon. Rockford Ground. Stay parking. Uh, Bravo 6 if it's available, please. UPS 556 heavy. Uh, text to Bravo 6 via Foxtrot. Foxtrot 2. Okay, Bravo 6 uh, via Foxtrot. Foxtrot 2 for UPS 556 heavy. Thanks. Bravo. Six. Handling by Emery Air. Bravo six. Hope you bleed. Stripes off. So let's see how this translates. It looks like they do have this uh, ground layout pretty nailed, actually. It's a strange layout, though, I've got to say. If I show you the charts here, Morning Chinook, uh, we'll be vacating Fox Truck 2 into the West Cargo apron here, then we break off left. We want the uppermost left line up to Bravo 6 outside the UPS hangar. Yeah, we've done a bit of CTAF today. We've had some ATC, really, really fantastic ATC uh, into and out of Rockford. CTAF into Minneapolis to put that trial to the test. Actually, I think I, I quite like it. I quite like the idea of CTAF and the trial that they're doing. Uh, makes you feel like you're, you're still having to think about changing frequencies and things uh, rather than just sitting on Unicom for the whole flight. Uh, it does make you kind of think a bit more, which I like a lot. And then we've used Navigraph annotations as well. Let's get the taxi lights off. So, two lines. 707 and MD-11, or 767 MD-11 for the outs, uh, the inside, and 757A300 is the one we want on the outside.
around we go. That'll be Bravo 6 there. Yeah, someone came in the live chat earlier on and said actually they've done a pretty good job of the layout of Rockford, uh, which is quite good to hear. Someone with personal knowledge. I think the layout looks really good and actually the way they put it on the charts looks bang on, but for me the textures and the buildings leave a little bit to, to desire. You know, I think there should be a bit of a be more of a higher definition. Truffin X is a tight parking span stand. How the There is no way. Oh, this is going to trigger my OCD massively. <laughs> it's not even straight. Wow. I feel like we should have the sideways parking line. Right, all the lights are off. Yeah, that wasn't a very good... Even I can agree that was terrible parking. They flick off automatically. And how's the engine shut down? Yeah, you're right, Doc. Very funky. It's almost like it can't fit an A300. Even though it's got a line for it. Bizarre. Right, toggle shots. Let's get that main cargo door open and request. Oh, what did, what did I just click then? No idea. Here we are. So, a little bit of cargo ops. Many, many, many tons of gin. And uh, quite a cool little flight to Rockford and back. There's this, uh, the big old 747-8, just touched down, missed that. How many others have we got flying along? It did well, to be fair, but then we don't have a custom GSX profile. That doesn't help either. Let's have a quick little look-see here. We've got Osprey 27 Alpha. And Binkster. And UPS 2557 inbound. No. Let's watch some take uh, uh, landing, shall we? Eighteen one. So we've got about three on final, haven't we, to go and watch? See. Yeah, from a distance the scenery looks alright, doesn't it? And it's even got a little animated waving US flag, a few of the little bits, which are it are quite nice, but when you get close it for fifteen pounds I think it starts to let itself down a little bit. Bearing in mind the quality of some others marked around the same price point. Uh, it has got a bit of an interior, which is quite nice. They've made the effort there. Oops, sorry, my bad. Terrible drone skills. But they've done very highly detailed stuff there to the point we can zoom right in and read all of that. And a nice sign on the inside for Rockford. And stuff on the outside there as well, caution and things. But then, as we mentioned on the ground earlier, when you go outside the front, 
Surely that doesn't look like that in real life. That's pretty poor. That needs to be improved significantly. Looks like they've just gone on Microsoft Word, typed in a placeholder, and then just left it there and then forgot about it. Uh, uh, quite low uh, res. Uh, that brings two yeah. seven alpha. Apart from that, back for tower wins. Zero two. Some of it look one, alright. Zero runway one clear land. We're, while we wait for the others, we'll just have a little mooch around uh, some of the other hangars here. Kronos Aviation. Ergie says A300 is such a cool aeroplane. Uh, you've got some of the DHL ones in Helsinki occasionally. Yeah, there's, there's more of the same kind of thing over there. Let's venture towards the tower. There's the windsock. We'll have a little look at the uh, next couple of touchdowns. I think we've got three left to land, I think, haven't we? Snow. The heck? It's not even for the right airport. That's ridiculous. Don't put something in for an airport that's not actually... <laughs> At least ma make it match. Oh. Jet Air Group. Runway 0624, 18 that? Is it for this? Different runway numbers, though. Whoopsie. That's not that impressive, is it? So yeah, there's a little bit left to be desired, I think, here with the scenery. For £15, I think they should be doing a lot better. I think we've used an X-Wind or Crosswind scenery before, haven't we? A little while ago, and actually the scenery looked alright. Was it? Oh, it's Palmerston North. Palmerston North was actually alright, I remember. In New Zealand. And now they've dived across to the US to make this. Yeah, leaves a little to be desired. That'll be the day, MPS, when Microsoft Flight Simulator fixes the DirectX 12 bug. I can't see them solving that anytime soon, can you? Oh, what a touchdown. Look at that. Absolute pro. And the Osprey A320. Good job. Lovely. Helicopter, uh, 62 Alpha, Alpha Hotel. Uh, 62 Alpha Hotel. Oh, back for tower, hello. Uh, uh, let's see, you're looking to, to uh, take off uh, fr from the ramp there and uh, VFR to the north? Uh, it's on to the top of the hotel. 62 uh, Alpha Hotel, hotel right, 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 uh, take off, take off uh, from, from the ramp, we'll, we'll be at your uh, own risk. Trying to find uh, where that helicopter is. To, to, to the nor north is approved. Alpha Hotel, we'll go Got no idea, he must be over there. It's a shame we don't really see helicopters okay, in the sim very well. Alpha, left turn, left turn off the runway on taxiway. Fox track, kind of ground, 121.9er. Actually, on Fox and ground, Not quite, mate. No. I think he just has a stammer. And actually, he's doing a really good job. If he does have a stammer, to be doing ATC on VATSIM during a stream for us, and then uh, probably staying on for Captain Canada when he flies in shortly as well, that's... Uh, that's Incredible. Ergie says he's getting so many crash to desktops with Fenix after the B2 update that he had to delete it, absolutely hammering his GPU. My goodness, really? What spec have you got, Ergie? And have other people with a similar kind of spec to you um, had the same problem? UPS uh, 2557 ha Heavy Rockford uh, ta Tower, wind 02010, zero, zero, runway 1, clear land, traffic parts cross and run. Yeah, Chris, we get the jets slightly levitating. I think that can't really be fixed.
Front for tower, uh, good afternoon, UPS 2739, heavy, uh, hold short, uh, near 7, ready to go. UPS 2739, uh, I got traffic, I got traffic tra on. Uh, Fletcher says it's odd version hold 2 hold sorted his problems with V1, the stick was so heavy, so heavy it felt like I was going to break my okay, no in real life stick. We'll hold short on Fox drop. I'm so tempted to fire a little email to Winwing, and uh, yeah, it's just, I mean, Phoenix has always been a bit performance heavy. I've said it a few times in the past, and even on my rig, I've noticed it's a lot heavier on performance than the PMDG 737 and stuff. But the problem is, if you say that too many times, you then get the odd person that will come go. You, you just slate in the Phoenix. Uh, heavy uh, run, run race seven, line up and wait. Line up and wait. Twenty-seven thirty-nine. Here we go. Osprey 27 Alpha, I think, from memory, wasn't it? It was oh, clear to land a little while ago. Hotel, leaving my airspace so to uh, north. Uh, if you change the advisory, it's broke. We'll see it. That helicopter definitely okay. definitely didn't even load in. Because we were looking right at it. I've just found it on the Navigraph thing. and yeah. Oh, no, it's not. Osprey 27 Alpha's touched down. This is Bingster. Uh, who would be in a UPS A300-600F, but actually, um, it's model matched as a wonderful looking MD-11 freighter instead. Can't wait for a high fidelity one of these in the sim. Whoa, wee, up he goes. UPS 25, heavy Roger, fly fly runway heading, fly runway heading four now. Up goes his gear. Yeah, what an what an airplane that would be once we get that in the sim. That'd be great, won't it? Uh, UPS twenty five fifty seven correction. Let's make that a left uh, turn to uh, two seven zero. Left turn to uh, two seven zero. UPS twenty five fifty seven. Nice. Oh, Chris, is it Tuesday when we still update fifty? Maybe it is. Maybe it is. There's that UPS there waiting to go. Oh, it's a seven six seven. Oh, we need one of those in the sim as well. Desperately. UPS at 2557 heavy contact uh, departure 121.0. To get hey, you, back you see, back welcome. Around. Joining us right at the end. Uh, well, Jim, back over to approach uh, UPS 2557. UPS 2739 heavy. Uh, the the wind's 1020 at 105. Runway heading, runway 7, clear for takeoff. Runway heading, clear for takeoff 2739. Hopefully, he's got the RB 211s, but I don't think he does with UPS. They probably use Pratt and Whitney's or something. Something American. Yeah, we do Image Seeker welcome as well. Yeah, need a 757 and a 767. Absolute powerhouse selection of aeroplanes those would be. And a very good high fidelity MD-11 as well, which we are desperately waiting for from TFDI Designs. Up he goes. Zoom, zoom, has got big old winglets as well. Oh. <laughs> that, that truck. <laughs> Off he goes. Looking great. Look at that. LODs on this X-Wing scenery are pretty bad. Bearing in mind, I'm only here. Which is next next to the windsock. No, it's not. 2739 airborne. Yeah, I'm only here. But look what's happened UPS to those buildings. Until we zoom in there. Roger, contact at uh, Rockford departure 121.0. We'll see it. 121. Weird. Zero. Have a good day. We'll see you. Phoenix devs have admitted that all testers they have used high range spec of PC, so they've never found performance issues in the tests. Brilliant. But that's a bit of a mistake, isn't it? You kind of want people testing your stuff with a variety of software and, and performance um, you know, tw RTX 2070 supers and stuff like that as well and build it to those standards so that 
people with the RTX 4090 don't notice any difference, like me, because we get good performance anyway. But those on the 2070 Super, as an example, will get good performance because it was built and tested on that kind of graphics card. I don't understand why they would... Yeah, I'd, yeah, bizarre. But then I suppose that's the way the industry's moving now, isn't it? It's in their interest to keep Nvidia sweet and uh, keep people buying their new graphics cards and all the rest of it. So I think we've got one more on final. Oh no, hold on. They've disappeared off the radar. I think it was Bingster. But he's going to be vectored round and stuff. But he's up there somewhere. In the skies. But anyway. Let's float back. Hopefully you've enjoyed today. It's been quite a nice uh, calm stream. I say a calm stream. It's actually been quite busy with these two short sectors. What the chuffing heck just happened there? Weird LOD behaviour here. Um, but yeah. Tomorrow... 24 hours of VATS in Colombia at Bogota. Or Bog Bogota, Bogota, Bogota. SKBO for the ICAO code. And we're flying in to take part in the event for a little hop out of Tonkontin and the PMDG 737-800. And we're going to fly our own virtual airline Osprey Airways for that route as well. Just to zhuzh it up and uh, represent Osprey at an event that we might not have otherwise taken part in. So join us tomorrow, the usual time, 1300 UTC. And we're off for some Osprey Airways Ops in South America. But in the meantime, as always, massive thank you to our air traffic controllers for today and everyone who flew along. And I'll see you at Bogota tomorrow. Actually, we started Tom Contin. So I'll see you in Tom Contin tomorrow. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.